Hello, everyone. My name is Linda Chen, and I am a sales account manager from Intel, responsible for IoT customers. Today, I'm pleased to meet together with one of our valuable customers, DFI, for this webinar to talk about how DFI's server platform in Kong Express expertise 5G application. From DFI, we have Ethan Wang, Project Manager Director, and we also have Jason Lee from Intel FA team. Ethan, could you please briefly introduce yourself? Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Ethan Wang. I'm Director of Board Product Management Division, also in charge of System and Module Product Line and ODM Division. I worked in DFI over 17 years, and it's wow. my pleasure to be here. DFI must be a great place to work for. You spend your young days at DFI. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Can we also hear a little bit about you, Jason? Hi, I'm Jason Lee. I'm the account FAE based in Intel Taipei office. I'm supporting IoTG business to our ODM and OEM partners. And I am very pleased to work with the IPC leading company, DFI, to grow our business together. Yeah, so am I. Before we get started, we would like to bring you an attention about Intel's notice and disclaimers. Intel does not control or audit third-party data. You should consult other sources to evaluate accuracy. All product plans and roadmaps are subject to change without notice. So Ethan, you bring your product to our webinar today? Yeah, it's TV970. Oh, great. So I just noticed there's a cake over there. So is this someone's birthday? Yeah, I thought you would notice. Yes, I turned to 40 this year. Uh -huh. And it's Can also- Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good tell. Uh, it, it, and it's also DFI's anniversary this year. Oh, really? How nice. You are so lucky. You have more than 1,000 people watching and celebrating <laughs> your birthday with you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I'm guessing you are the younger one, am I right? Uh, actually, I'm the bigger one, but still DFI my boss. Yeah, no uh, doubt. Nothing changed. Yeah, <laughs> DFI pay you. <laughs> <laughs> so happy birthday to Ethan and happy birthday to DFI. 40 years is a remarkable milestone for DFI in the IPC industry. So Ethan, could you tell us about more uh, DFI? Sure. Uh, DFI is a global leading provider of high-performance computing technology across multiple embedded industrial for 40 years. With its innovative design and premier quality management system, DFI's industrial-grade solution enables mm -hmm. customers to optimize their equipment and ensure high reliability, long-term life cycle in different kind of markets, including factory automation, Mm -hmm. medical, transportation, and more with in-deep experience in the embedded industrial. DFI will continue to provide the most added value service and solutions to our customer for long mm -hmm. run. That's very exciting to learn about it. In addition, as far as I know, the first strategic collaboration was Intel 486 series motherboard back to 1992. DFI and Intel have 30 years partnership. So Ethan, is there anything new that you would like to introduce today? Yes. Uh, today, I will share DFI's experience of Conexpress. It's a very flexible form factor for industrial and very popular in many applications, like medical, mission critical, mm -hmm. and some special networking application. So which Intel platform is adopted? Um, it's microserver platform, okay. Deventon. We are also planning to come out with the latest Xeon D platform in 2022. I see. So is it the one that we see on the table? Yes, this one, DV970. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's very compact. Yeah, um, basically there's a smaller uh, form factor called the uh, Conexpress Compact. Uh -huh. But for this platform, we only can do the uh, standard I form see. factor. Okay, so uh, before we go into uh, DFI solution in detail, um, Jason, can you give us some highlights about Deverton? Yes, uh, Deverton is the third generation Atom SOC targeting entry industrial, military, aero, energy, robotic, and IO workload 
that require very low power but high density and high I.O. integrations. It has up to 20 flexible HSIO lens, up to 4 10 gigabit per, uh, Ethernet, and the integrated uh, Intel QuickSeed technology. Wide range of uh, uh, core uh, skill and the cores, from 2 cores to 16 cores, enable scaling one design across multiple target use cases, mm -hmm. support sub 10 watt as well. I see. Thank you, Jason, for summarizing Devaton key features. So, Ethan, with this platform, what kind of application are you targeting? Um, we already got several projects mm -hmm. of 5G infrastructure in the networking in 2020. Mm -hmm. And we are looking forward more opportunities in 2021. Great. Sounds great. So uh, what is the main reason to choose Devaton uh, platform as 5G control <coughs> unit? Um, before answering this question, yeah. uh, allow me to introduce today's agenda. Sure. Okay. Um, today, I will briefly explain why x86 has opportunity in 5G application mm -hmm. and shows the, uh, the advantage of Intel solution and also um, more explain our DFI success story of 5G yeah. mm -hmm. and uh, um, DFI scalable product line. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay, so let's start. We hear about more and more 5G in recent years, yeah. but um, does IPC really get a chance to grab business in 5G application? The answer, yes, of course. Mm -hmm. So, um, this page shows the 5G improvements. Compared to 4G, 5G brings low response time and a much, uh, much higher data transfer rate, while the spectrum range allowed 5G provide much more bandwidth. But it also caused the signal sensitivity of environments. The higher spectrum costs lower transfer uh, distance. To solve this problem, it requires much more equipment than 4G. So, briefly conclusion, 5G requires more powerful and more numbers of equipments. In some condition, maybe 100 times more than 4G. This is uh, our expectation to see more and more applications based on 5G infrastructure. Okay, uh, we talked about the 5G improvement, brings more device requirements. Does it really relate to IPC? This table simply shows structure difference between 4G and 5G. In the past, 4G is proprietary hardware and protocol. Only few suppliers are allowed to join. In 5G, it becomes open and virtualized structure. It allows an x86 platform based on virtual machine to support proprietary hardware. Open structure opens the door for IPC to enter telecom business. So back to Linda's question. Yeah. What is the main reason to choose Devonton platform on 5G control unit in this small cell project? It is more like an all-in-one solution. It carries a radio function and connect to internet. Devonton just perfect, perfectly fulfill the requirement. It doesn't need to be such powerful as Xeon D and supports enough uh, throughput bandwidth for 5G small cell. I see. So we do learn a lot of new interesting things so far. Let's take a break to do the poll question number one. What kind of open 5G application are you going to deploy? A, small cell. B, radio unit. C, distributed unit. D, Central unit. Okay, let's back to main session. 5G is a critical element of the new data economy. So Intel powers 5G end to end. Jason, do you know any kind of Intel technology helps customers to enable 5G easier? Yeah, that is uh, Intel FlexRAN, wireless base stations, like most network nodes have traditionally been vertically integrated boxes. FlexRAN is a reference architecture developed by Intel to implement software 
basis radio stations, which can sit on any part of the wireless networks from edge to the core. Mm, thank you, Jason. So I believe our audience is eager to know more about FreshRen. Please share us more. Yeah. Uh, sure. This is a high-level diagram mm -hmm. uh, detailing the building blocks and the what provide of the FreshRen reference solution for wireless access. At the top, we have a reference by applications which implement layer one functionalities. First run FSDK to optimize signal processing libraries for Intel uh, instruction set. And uh, we have a flexible uh, test controller, which is a test-oriented software architecture that allows the applications to sc scale across multiple calls assigned to VNF. For a, a platform service, we mainly rely on DPTK for packet I.O. and memory management, and etc. Based on virtualization infrastructure, which use Wing River Titanium server, all based across Intel Xeon scalable processor with the network cards for I.O. and the acceleration options. Finally, we bundle all these things with Tesla infrastructure to test virtual network functions. Thank you for the detailed explanation. So Ethan, can you describe more about project scenario and DFI 5G small cell? Of course, that's why I'm here. Today, uh, I will show DFI development experience of 5G small cell. <clears throat> this project is for 5G MM wave small cell. It is for tier one telecom company in USA. I can show company name here. Mm -hmm. So um, DFI provides concept price type seven with Intel platform, Davinton. This project requires delivering 2,000 samples in three months. So we choose concept price to shorten schedule. We only need to focus on customer's carrier and the customer can use our development kit to de develop uh, from the beginning. It's very impressed. Is there any block diagram that you can share with us? Yep, uh, let me show this page. This page shows the structure of this project. It looks very simply. Only requires one 10 GBE port to internet and one 5G module to assess devices. The most effort is in software level need to fulfill all protocol and the software requirements. There is a synchronizer in the small cell. It is because 5G small cell is extremely time sensitive. 5G module and the MPU need to synchronize in each slot. I see. So did you encounter any difficulty during the development cycle? Or is there anything you would like to share with us? If you have time, I can talk a story about this project all day long. Then we probably need another webinar <laughs> yeah. for you to share more. So uh, we, we really spend a lot of time to uh, find root cause and figure mm -hmm. out how to solve the problems. So I think I just list the most important sure. items here. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Although most of the effort is software, for IPC point of view as hardware, there are still several things DFI needs to solve. Small cell is extremely time sensitive. In this project, need to complete 8,000 slots in a second, which means only 125 uh, microsecond per slot. Start from synchronized signal. MPU and 5G module need to complete all process in time. We need to release as more resources for this behavior as possible. Every unnecessary move may cost a failure slot. Because time is very limited, we also need to shorten tri trigger password. Compared to other Intel platform, Intel Atom Davinton platform provides faster response to detect synchronized signal. Signal password requirement is under 200 nanoseconds. We 
also have solution to lower pulse width under 80 nanosecond, but 200 nanosecond is enough for this project. Mm -hmm. Latency is also important. If latency is around 40 to 50 microsecond, which is very uh, popular, uh, normal in x86 platform, it takes almost a half time of one slot. It's really a critical item. Intel Atom Davidson platform provides low latency to react to each interrupt. After we optimize BIOS and OS, mm -hmm. latency can be under 20 microsecond. So I can tell it looks like DFI got lots of experience from this project. So <coughs> does DFI have any plan to explore 5G infrastructure business in coming 2021 or maybe 2022? Uh, I won't say that we have much experience. We did face some problems and we mm -hmm. fixed it. Yeah. Can Our, you share more? Um, maybe another time. <laughs> <laughs> Our goal is to create a win-win business model. For example, in 5G opened and virtualized structure, it allows to use Intel platform as general purpose hardware. In other hand, System integrator and telecom company will face Intel platform they never have in the past. DFI intends to build an ecosystem between D Intel, DFI, and the customer. DFI offers wild and full range Intel platform as standard products. Also provide customized service as OTM. SI and the solution provider can leverage DFI's resource. We provide stable, competitivity computing units. Customers only need to focus on their vertical application, create their own value. Mm -hmm. Sounds great. So it seems to me that it's not only in 5G infrastructure business, am I right? Exactly. This ecosystem adapts to each uh, application. Mm -hmm. We have many partners in vehicle, medical, mission critical, and other fields. There are too many opp opportunities. Mm -hmm. OK, let's take another break for poll question number two. What is your role in the 5G infrastructure? A, system integrator. B, software provider. C, solution provider. OK, let's continue. Okay, DFI offers from modules, board to in integrated uh, system and embedded solutions. From smallest 1.8 inch single board computer to dual processors server grade board. Box PC and panel PC DFI has a bunch of standard products for any kind of application. Here's more introduce of DFI 5G application uh, ready products GV970. Adapt to small cell radio unit. For small cell only requires 10 GBE to internet and uh, to be a RU. It may require 20 GBE for or more bandwidth to DU. DV970 supports up to 40 GBE bandwidth. It is totally capable for this kind of application. PR810 is designed by second generation Intel scalable processor family with dual processors. It is about up to two ports, 10 GBE and IBMI. It's easy to adapt to distribute unit and central unit. Thank you very much for the sharing. Okay, so the, let's have Ethan to do the recap for today's webinar. Okay, uh, today we introduced DFI's 5G small cell project. It is based on Compress structure. DFI's success to deliver 2K samples in three months. It's remarkable. Uh, we really fixed lots of issues in time. We also introduced DFI's uh, ecosystem customer can leverage DFI's resource, focus on their own value. Okay, um, today's webinar will be end here. Thanks for your participate.
If you have any questions regarding this webinar, please don't hesitate to ask me. If you like this video, please subscribe DFI YouTube video and follow our Facebook and LinkedIn channel. It's fascinating to learn about DFI and the solutions DFI offers. I'm looking forward to being part of DFI's next 40 year journey. We should now proceed to the Q&A session. Please submit your questions into Q&A box. Ethan and his team members will be standing by to answer your questions. much for joining us today. We hope that you have benefited from today's session. This webinar will be recorded and available on demand. More information will be sent to your registered email after the webinar. For questions that we are unable to answer for you today, we will get back to you by email. Or you can email us at InsideSales lmapec at intel.com. Please take the survey under multimedia view to let us know your thoughts on this webinar. Okay, that's all for today's session. Join us in our future webinar. Stay safe, stay happy, take care. Bye-bye, see bye -bye. you next time.